Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and today I'm having a look at this Tonic Studios Decadent Drawer Gift Box Die Set. So I hopefully it will be making something really nice with this. I've had it for a little while but I haven't got round to using it yet so today we're going to sort that out. Now it contains 27 different dies and this is a rather large packet that it's in even so I've already gone ahead and opened it up and you probably saw a little video I made earlier on. Some people were saying, how on earth do you get those open without destroying the whole package? Well, I just put it into my guillotine and take a tiny sliver off the top and slide this out and then put it back in again when, when I've done that. So that was just by the bys. So this is the die set. And before I go any further, I've just remembered I should have said that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that and hit the notification bell and then you'll be able to see lots more of these videos as they come up. And also don't forget to leave me little comments down below and let me know what you're thinking about it and what you think of what I'm making or how I'm making the video or whatever because I enjoy that as well. So let's get on to the die set. So as we said there are 27 different dies and you know the first thing I'm always going to do when I open a die set is I know it's going to make this beautiful uh, drawer gift box with a little box on the top and the drawers around the side and whatnot but I always like to make sure, like others of course as well, but I like to make sure that I've got some dies here that are going to do other things as well. So this one, there are actually three here. Layering dies, so there's a large square one. I should just measure that. That is, let's see, uh, from point to point 12 centimeter square. So that's going to be lovely on a 6x6 six six or whatever. And we've got this one just inside that that has a cutout on the outside of it but it's got punched detail on the inside and you could use those both together I think. It'd be a very very narrow little frame you'd make. In fact it might even be, well, you could make a little frame with it. And then we've got this Verso die as well. So you could use that on its own just to cut the pattern through the card um, and keep it in your card or you could use it with either one or two layers behind it made with this. And then we have this beautiful little piece here and these are for the drawers I think, the, the drawer fronts, these, these different panels here. And um, then you've got smaller squares and all sorts of things here and these little pieces as well that make the little handles for the drawers. These are the legs, this is the little tab, and then these are the panels. And believe it or not, these beautiful fancy edges are actually just glue tabs as far as I can see. But we'll come back and have a look at that in a moment or two. If those are indeed, as I suspect, glue tabs, you could actually cut that out and just nip those off and use those for a nice little shape as well, a little tab or whatever. So anyhow, uh, first things first, let's have a little look. Uh, I know some of you ask me, where are the instructions? Where are you getting all these instructions? But there's the die set. Open it up and there are the instructions. So there's not an awful lot. There are nine all together. This first part here then tells you how many pieces of each of the dies you need to cut out and how to assemble it. Now I've got a little thing in my mind at the minute of what I want to do with this and how to incorporate it with another die set that I've got. Actually one, maybe two. So I'll go ahead and cut these out and I'll be right back. So I have cut out three of the uh, squares here. So I think two of them are the lid and one is the base. And then I've cut out this decorative panel on top. And that is Silky Sky card. It's really, really beautiful. I'm going to add lots more stuff on top of it. So that will just be a kind of a sky background for me. And then I've cut eight of these pieces that are for the drawers and four of these, four of the leg pieces and four of these panels as well for around the top. So I'm going to glue these on and I'm going to glue the top on one of these and I'll just leave these ones for the time being just to make sure I, I'm going to get them on the right ones. Now normally I wouldn't actually be adding uh, one of the, this type of card to another card with glue because sometimes it leaves just a, a little um, mark on the outside of it but I'm actually, well I'm intending at the minute anyway, 
to add lots of other detail on top of this. It's not going to be just left as it is. But um, in case there are parts of it showing, I just want to make sure that I have it right out at the edge there and keep it nice and fine. Got all these pieces ready and I've folded up all the pieces at the score lines there and burnished them and then now I'm going to move on and make the drawers. So that's the eight pieces that we cut out that are all the same, the ones with three compartments on it. So we want to take this flat part here that has no tabs except the two ends attached to it and glue one on top of the other. So we'll put glue directly onto that and then down these side tabs, fold them all up and that will make the little drawer. Now, I know this is black and it might be just slightly difficult to see where that glue is going but I'll show you exactly the tabs. It's going on here and then it's going on this side. We fold these in and then on here and exactly the same way here because that will be the one that folds back onto here and then it will make a little drawer. So pop the glue on here first of all. Just make sure you have that centred right and the way to do that is just fold the, the sides up whenever you have it on and we'll make sure everything's in the right place. If necessary, because you're using wet glue, you can just move that around slightly until you get it in exactly the right place. So that just needs to move over slightly there and that's it. And then I'll go ahead and glue these sides. Now I know exactly where this piece is going because I wasn't too sure there. And this is the smaller one. The, um, there are four of these and four slightly bigger squares. And I'm putting the slightly smaller one onto the front of the drawer here. And I can go ahead, once I've done that, then I can go ahead and make the other three drawers up exactly the same. Uh, now for the little housing that holds all the little drawers in place. So these pieces that have the two parts on and then the tabs, well I've actually gone ahead and burnished all the little tabs and you can see I've already glued two of these on here. So you want to just lay them around the outside like this with the, them all facing the same, going the same way rotationally around. So if the glue tab is here, can you see that with it being black? But I'll hold it up. If the glue tab is there, you'll want it facing this way and then here and then on this one it's going this way and you'll want to glue these on but just with one tab on each at the moment. So I've glued this one on and I've left this piece, I've glued this one on and I've left this piece and I'm going to glue this one and leave this piece and I'll glue this one. Now when all those pieces have attached properly, I'm just going to press them down with my bone folder. When you've all those glued on then, if you pull this part in and you'll see where the flat edge of this sits up, this tab from the next one will get glued directly onto the, the edge of that so it will be flush with that. And then you'll see the same thing happens on the next one. You'll glue this tab and put it onto the end of this one and then this one will go on here as well. So to hold all of these together then we're going to put a little bit of glue along the bottom there and I'll just do two of these at a time. So that one folds in here and that will be at 90 degrees but the easy way to work that out is if you put that down and it will move slightly for a moment or two if you need it to and then add some glue onto the side tab of it here just along there and that one there will then get attached on here and you'll already have the glue on the base there 
and that way you'll know that everything has lined up. So just hold that together until it attaches, until it adheres. And that's your first little compartment to put a drawer in and you can just see there how that's going to work. So your little drawer fits in there. Now we can go ahead with the rest of them then. So what you need to do again then is put glue on this base tab and on this one and down this side and this side then will attach directly up here. So on the base and on this side You'll put that in and that will attach directly. See all of these little tabs are going to meet up in the corner there like that. So they'll all meet up evenly right in that centre. And now on this one you'll put the glue down the centre there and along this tab that we've turned up and down here. You can see there it kind of looks like a little windmill whenever it's ready and you've got all the pieces in place and now you need to put a little lid on top and that will hold all of that together. So glue all along here and here, right out to the edges, and here, and here. And then we'll pop one of these on top. Now I'm just putting pegs on here at the moment to make sure I have it all aligned and then I can go ahead and just make sure that everything's pressed into place but I'm using the pegs first of all to make sure that everything's all straight at the corners. got the four little leg pieces cut out now and I have burnished the sides and the tabs of those and what I want to do then is glue the tabs onto the box here so I'll make that flush with the edge there and I'll do that the whole way around and then I'll glue these tabs together and that'll be the little feet on. two of these little pieces cut out and they were going to be for my lid but I decided to add them as little pull pieces for the drawers so you can see I've already glued them on and attached them in and there's the feet on as well there so I'm going to just show you all you need to do is cut these out and then put some glue burnish it over first of all put some glue on the back and then just pop that inside there and line it up just to be sure that it's sort of even, well not sort of, but it is even, and fold that down and you'll just want to push that down and hold it together there for a minute or two until that attaches properly, until it adheres and then this wee tab will sit up again and that then is my fourth drawer that can just pop in there. So that's the little drawer unit ready. Now I'm going to decorate these pieces so I'll be adding these on but I want to leave that for the time being because I want to see exactly what this is going to look like before I add all the rest of my detail on. But I've got all these pieces cut now and these are the pieces that I'm going to add on to the top of this to make the little box part on top. So first of all I'm going to add glue along here on this really nice glue tab and that will go on just there. Now, Make sure you have it perfectly lined up here. So this is this will be very important to make sure that this is perfectly lined up 
and that's why you want to make sure you're using glue and not uh, tape at all because you can just push that into shape and into line there and then hold it so it's perfectly aligned across the top and then you can just uh, press it slightly there and I don't press too hard but just press that slightly there and then we'll work our way around so remembering that again like the, on the other part if we've got this tab facing this way we want to attach this to that one so that tab will get attached here and this tab then will go on and they'll follow on round in that line. So there it all is and you can see the tabs inside and you can actually even see a little bit of the glue and I don't want that showing so I've taken the smallest um, square die, the one with the little stitching effect around it and I'm going to glue that in there and whenever you open the lid of this little box that will be a lovely colour showing anyway so that it will just finish that off and tidy it up. So we'll just drop that in and hold it down in place. So now all I need to do is finish this lid and then I'm going to decorate it. Now obviously this would have been a lot easier to decorate had I known exactly what I was going to do with it before I finished but I have in my head this kind of scene that I want to do and I wanted to just be sure that the box looked the way I wanted it first of all. So what I'm going to do here now is add a little bit of glue onto the front corners there so I might have too much on there. Just hold that down for a moment or two. Now you don't want to do this at the back, just the two front corners. So you'll pick where you're at the front of your little box is and do that and then on here and as always I think I'll add a little peg on just to be sure that holds and I'll do exactly the same here then so the reason that you don't want to put it on the back is because this will be the hinge that holds the lid on so this tab is going to get glued on here. So I'll just lay this down and um, show you from here. So I'm going to put some glue right along this tab here. So right along there, you can see that, yep. And then this time I'm going to add this on. I'll set it this way, yeah, that, that would be easier. And just have it slightly forward just very very slightly forward from that score line so you don't want it right out to the very edge but you don't want an awful lot of distance between it it's just so that it fits properly when it opens up and down and closes like the lid and then you can check it there make sure it's all lined up I can take my little pegs off now and just make sure everything is square I want a little magnet closure on my lid so what I've done is I've taken two little magnets out of here and I've already glued one in underneath there and then I've just set this one on top so you'll feel that it's just drawn to that there um, and I'm going to just remove, <laughs> easier said than done whenever the um, tweezers want to stick to the magnet. I don't know why but I always feel a tiny drop of glue onto that as well. It's not taking away from this the glue that's already on that but um, I just like a little extra security. And then pop that down. And then I've taken the little pull closure again and this time I've cut it out in that glue and I'm just going to add that along here so I know that's in the center and I just want to center that over there but I also want to cover the magnet so I've cut one of these little shapes out as well and I'm going to glue that on there just to cover that completely I 
I really wanted to add a little monkey and some branches and some foliage onto the top of the lid of this box. So just in case you haven't already used this die set, I'll show you briefly how I've made the monkey. Right, so it's this die set, Wild About Zoo Monkeys die set. And I have taken the largest die in the set and I've cut that out once. And then I have just cut out the face part of it. You can see there actually what I've done. I just laid that on and cut part of it out again and then I just rounded round where the head was there so I've got myself a second head. Goodness that sounds awful doesn't it? But I've now put some 3D foam pads onto the back of that and I'm going to attach that then directly on top of this little monkey here. So you can see we're going like that. Now, then what I did was I took this little die and I cut that out in some cream card. I used this one and you can see what I've done here. Instead of cutting this out in white and this in black, I've just cut them both out in white and then I coloured the smaller ones in with um, a black marker. It was pitch black in the alcohol markers and I've put the two little eyes on there. Now, to get that placed in here and make sure it's in the right place, what I do then is I set this die, so this has actually only got the uh, embossing detail on it and it does also cut out the ears. So I set this on top of pink card and I cut out the two ears and they're going to go on here. So I can set that on top of here now. And what we have, I got this round this way, yeah. And that then will show me exactly where this little face has to go and the angle that it'll be at. And it's much easier if you use this to place that little face in there because uh, chances of you getting it just right without it are next to nil, I would say. And it, it looks much better if it is actually placed on the way it should be. When you take that off, then you'll see the little monkey just how it should be. Now I'm going to take a little uh, alcohol marker here and just do a little bit of shading around here. Not too much, but just to show the little bit of dimension there and emphasise that a bit. And just in behind the head there, a little bit and a little bit around the feet, not too much. And that should be enough I think. I'll make a banana or something for him in a minute or two. But I've also got these little ears so I'll just take the tweezers, put a little drop of glue on and add the ears in here. So that will go on there. And the other one then goes on here. Now, you can see here probably that I have taken that little face die again and cut the nose out in pink. And I'm just going to add that into the centre here. It's actually easier if I just put the glue in there and pop that in that little heart kind of nose. So that's him. I have got some delicate rose alcohol marker here. I'm going to give just a little bit more shading on there and on there and a little bit there. And he looks like a happy little monkey to me. So now I've lifted this die set out and it's the fabulous foliage die set and I have die cut myself two little twigs or branches or whatever. I've also taken the Wild About Zoo Lion and Tiger die set and I've lifted out this leaf from it and I've taken a few more of the dies from this one so I sort of centres for these flowers and this leaf and I'm cutting those out in all sorts of greens and then little flowers and whatnot and uh, I'm going to build up a little piece at the back of the sort of a little background with these. But what I want to do first of all is put this little monkey on top of the lid. So I've got this little branch and this little branch and I want to glue those on but I want the monkey to go on there as if he's kind of got his tail curled around the branch. So we'll do it like that and then I'll add the monkey on there. I'll just glue him on like that and make sure this is the front of the box. Yep. So I can go ahead and glue him on and then I'll add some foliage on after that. I'm 
not actually sure if I did mention this or not, but I used the little banana skin and the little banana inside with some cream and some uh, yellow card there as well to make the little bananas and I've glued them on and he's a very greedy little monkey because he's got a banana in both hands. So now I'm going to go ahead and add lots of foliage on and then I'll decorate the sides as well to match this. There it is, all finished up and it actually was quite difficult to know where to stop with that because I cut out loads and loads of leaves and flowers and things and uh, I was really tempted to just keep on adding them and use them all up but um, it would have got really tacky I think if I'd added too much. This shiny card on the background um, is quite sort of bright and then the bright colours. I, I did want it to be bright but I just wanted to add some more detail on here so I have the flowers on here. Now you'll see the whole way around on the little the actual little drawers I don't have anything so that's how we know well apart from the fact that there's obviously the little tab as well but if I can just grab this and show you the whole way around we've got lots of leaves and flowers and well that's it all decorated up and I think it looks really really lovely it's really bright and lovely and cheerful a really happy little box and my little lid opens and closes there's a little um, magnet on there as I told you and then the little drawers have these little pulls on them as well and you get lots of things in there and that looks to me like it's a present for a child but it actually could be a present for anybody who just happens to want something nice and happy and cheerful. So I have, I say, I say this all the time but I actually really really enjoyed using that, really really enjoyed it. That was so fun and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it too. Uh, this little monkey it looks so cute on it and I know that lots of folk have already made these up and they've made them really elegant and they are absolutely beautiful but I just wanted to do this because it just appealed to me today that's just the kind of thing I wanted to make with it so I hope you like it don't forget if you do to give the video a big thumbs up down below there in the comments below the, the description and in the description I will add my affiliate links to all of the products that I've used here to the die set if you haven't already got it and are interested and to any other things that I've used, dies, cards and bits and pieces. So thank you once again very very much uh, for watching this so, and I've already said at the beginning but it's worthwhile repeating if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to do that and hit that notification bell so that next time a video comes up you'll be able to see that too. And leave me a little comment and let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you've enjoyed it as much as I have. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy crafting. Bye.